Good morning everyone. Um, unfortunately all the friends that we have made are leaving us today and we don't leave till tomorrow. Watch. Oh, you forgot your stuff. Chelsea forgot her stuff. So, so yeah, sad times. All the friends are leaving us. But also I've got a cool hat. Do you like the hat? I like the hat. Hat's cool. Alright, so we're off to get breakfast again. Final no, not the final breakfast. Tomorrow's the final breakfast. See, Chelsea's excited to go home. I don't want to go home. I think I found my people here. I mean, if you saw the footage, well, you listened to the footage from last night, and you would. You saw the footage of the chair. The chair was great. I mean, yeah, the chair was pretty epic. They got some beautiful chairs up here. The thing is, like. I think I found my people. I think I could stay here forever. It would be great. I love it. And knowing that the bus up here is only a tenner, like, dude, I could come up here anytime. That'd be amazing. Okay, so I have finished my breakfast. Chelsea has finished hers. Um, and yeah, we are basically just waiting for us to be ready for life today. We're waiting to get ready for life today. <laughs> okay, so we are walking and we're just kind of vibing till we find something to do for the day. We're doing Edinburgh Dungeons tonight because we've been looking forward to that all week. But until then, we need to find something cool to do. Mm. We've done a lot this week. Yeah, we need to find something to do today though. <laughs> We kind of haven't left anything for today. We've <laughs> found anything else, it's not today. Yeah, exactly. So we just need to find something to do for today. All right, so we went into a touristy shop. I got myself a brooch and um, it's a pretty fabulous brooch, not gonna lie. Now, here's the thing. I wanna move to Edinburgh now. I want to move to Edinburgh. The quality of life here is so much better than in Norwich. I can't stand Norwich. I've got so much trauma back there. I want to move to Edinburgh. And the dude literally said, if you moved up here, I would give you a job. Basically, he said, you know, take a job. i got a help wanted sign. You know, i got a staff wanted sign in my window. Had zero applications. I need staff, he said. That's practically asking me for a job. And I'm like, I would, I want to. But also, I haven't packed my bag yet. I'm like, the only thing stopping me, I haven't packed my bag yet. <laughs> I want to go. I want to stay here. I don't want to go home, but I need to, to pack my bag so I can come back. <laughs> but yeah, no, apparently there's a ton of jobs going here. Therefore, your girl wants a job. One that won't half kill me. <laughs> so let's do that. Guys. I saw a cat cafe. I want to live in the cat cafe. There's puss cats in that cafe and I want to be with them. They are, they are adorable puss cats. You're good. They are so cute. But unfortunately, we, we could not stay because it was not open yet. As soon as it is though, I want to go in. I want to go in. Chelsea, let me in. All right, so I, um, I have picked up some gifts for my nan. I picked up a couple of scarves. They were two for a tenner. So I was like, I'll get some scarves. I've given it. Yeah, I have given in to the scarf cult. Everywhere here sells scarves. And I have given in to the cult of scarves. I know, how dare I? To the fun time though, I love it. I'm also thinking of getting a job here and then I can move here. And then, yeah, fun times ahead. Fun times. Yeah. And scarf cult, but also fun times ahead. All right, so we're back in the hostel. Guess who's going to be looking for flat shares and jobs in Edinburgh? Um, it kind of goes against my or original plan, but hey, I feel like I have fallen in love with this city in just the six days I have been here. Maybe it's a better idea to get my grade seven first and then come to Edinburgh. I don't know. I've got to kind of reorganize my life, restructure the ideas, you know? You won't believe me. 
I've got Maccas, Mackies, McDonald's. I never get Mackies. Like, seriously, I've got Mackies. It's crazy. Ah. Ah. Wow. We have sat we have sat down. I have got my nuggies and my chips and and sauce. Because you can't have chips without sauce. But yeah, no, I've I've got nuggies. I've got nuggies. Okay. Alright, so fish Mackies. It's for the decent Mackies. It's the only thing I can eat from Mackies, so it better be decent. Um Chelsea's got herself some churros. She looks a happy bunny. <laughs> she is a happy bunny. But um, yeah, now we are just walking and seeing where we get to. All right, we've come to the park and honestly, there's some damn good music. There's a brass band behind us. Kind of a Spanish, kind of Mexican feel to them. Love it. Honestly, I was just vibing a few minutes ago, but now I'm walking downstairs, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> hey guys. We're just sitting here because look, it's just gorgeous. Look at Chelsea, she's so happy with her churros. Yeah. I mean, we're just kind of sitting here, you know. Got my flower skirt on that's kind of dead and needs redoing. Got the trains coming every so often. Don't know if you can see it through there. It's really pretty. Really pretty out here. I do love it. This is the first park we went to. And it's the last park we'll go to because we're saying goodbye tomorrow. I don't want to have to go. I don't. Like, I want to stay here. I want to find a job, find a flat. I was looking at some flats earlier. They're affordable for the flat shares, but still expensive. All right, so the last biggie on our list, just going to turn this around, Edinburgh Dungeon. 2.45, we're going to Edinburgh Dungeon to the fun time. We love that. And yeah, so we are having some fun times. Bada bing, bada boom. It's the last biggie on our list. It is. It's the last thing on the list. And now I actually think it is we've got it. The, oh, actually, we missed the garden, but we can live without that. Yeah, we can live without the botanical gardens. Or we could go there later. No, nah, I can live without it. All right. All right, so we are now in Edinburgh Dungeons. And look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's a rat. It's <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yes, ratus ratus. Yeah, no, look, there's all the stuff for the gift shop. And more and annual pass holders get 20% off pretty cool. Get a red hood. Get liquor. It's pretty cool. Get a tiny little bit. Oh yeah, tiny little bit. Alright, so again, there's a warning saying turn off any flash photography. So I'm going to have to do that. So, Thanks. yeah. I'll see you after the tour. It's a dungeon. Bye! All right, so we just did the Edinburgh Dungeons. This is epic. I'm assuming we're allowed photography now because we're in the gift shop, but look, it's so cool. Also, a bit sad that I didn't get, you know, kind of noticed for being a witch. I am clearly the witchiest of witches upon all the witch land. But hey, it was a fun time. I loved it. That was a lot of fun. I liked that. <laughs> With, and the best part is, in the gift shop, we still got Wi-Fi! And badges! Oh yeah, she got badge. She loves the badges. So, we're gonna figure out what to do next now. It will be a fun time, my dudes. Alright, so we have just gone into a bunch of the Scottish, like... Basically, Scottish tourist shops being like, yo, we're looking at everything. And Chelsea tried some whiskey. Rating? I don't like whiskey. It was nice, it was nice, nice whiskey, I just don't like whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, fun times. Woo! Right, so we're back at the hostel. Um, thinking about doing food. Edinburgh Dungeons was epic. 
we just went for a walk afterwards and went and sat in the park for a bit and chatted about life. Um, but yeah, now we're back at the hostel, we're thinking about food, because food is very important, my friends. And this hat goes really well with this jacket, like this jumper. It's so fluffy, and this is red and black, black and red. I'm like Spider-Man over here. Hey, hey. But yeah, also, don't worry, the hair's not gone. I haven't chopped it off just yet. Um, but yeah, no, so, thinking about food. Okay, so we just had a bit of a conundrum because the internet on this side of the pub don't work. Um, yeah, but we, we were able to order food. That's great, we love it. I'm in spoons at the minute. Spoons are spoons. We love spoons, okay. And I'm being rude. I should really take my hat off. Oh boy, that hair. Being rude having my hat on indoors. What am I doing? Yeah, no, but um, fun times. We got food on the way. It'll take 10 minutes though. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, we have finished our food and we're now going back off to the hostel. So fun times. Hey, um, so we're back at the, back at the hostel um, and I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably just gonna chill. Because tomorrow we have to have our bags packed and oh, ready to go before be 10 o'clock. So yeah, we're going to pack our luggage. Okay, good morning all. Um, Chelsea and I have started packing all of our stuff because we've got to go today. But we've got to find somewhere to leave it all before like 10 o'clock at night. So that's a bit awkward, but we'll do it. We'll do it eventually. Hey guys, does this ring a bell? Me with my coat, all my stuff, my backpack. Oh, it's reminiscent of last year. I miss last year. Look, I've even got my little face cloth. Oh, it's a bit cloudy today. A little bit grey this morning, but other than that, beautiful day. Can't wait for it. Don't want to go home though. Still looking at places, still don't want to go home. Might have a look elsewhere though. That'd be fun. Hey guys, I think you'll know what time it is. Time to hand it over. Guys, it is the moment. I pass it over, boom, and we got a hand. There we go. The lady has taken it. The deed is done. I can never return. Unless, of course, I do. In which case, great, great time. We love it. Right, we're going to go find some bag storage for the day. And then we are going to get breakfast because I need food. But also, bag storage is more important at this point. All right, so um, we came to the train station and there was places to put our bags, but we thought, that's expensive. So we're going to the bus station where we come from initially to see if we can find it a little bit cheaper. And also we know it'll be open when we're there, so that helps. All right. All right, so we're putting our stuff into a locker. We were surprisingly able to fit everything in there. My bag, Chelsea's bag. I'm not putting my violin in there. That's staying on my back all day. I'd rather it be that way, so, you know. This one's staying with me too, because it's got my water bottle in. This one here. Um, but yeah, no, Chelsea's gone to go see if she can get some change. I'm also putting some towards it, because it's like 12 pounds for 12 hours. That's like one pound an hour. That's decent, that is. Proper decent, so yeah. All right, so I just had to come into the Royal Bank of Scotland. Look how gorgeous it all is. Um, because I needed money. Because I needed money for the finger jiggers at the bus station, which Chelsea is probably getting worried now. So I gotta get back ASAP, you know? All right, so we have just put the money in the machine. We got our ticket out. And um, it was absolutely ridiculous. Like, we had to go all the way to the Bank of Scotland. Yeah, which is all the way up north. Okay, we're in the bus station, so technically it don't count. But my point is, we went all the way to the bank. Well, I went all the way to the bank. I left Chelsea on our lonesome. I felt so bad. Well, I mean, you were, you were panicking without me. Oh, Chelsea. Not amused. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're going. Getting food. 
breakfast. All right, luckily for us, everything local, everywhere we go is in the general vicinity of Spoons. So we found ourselves a seat at Spoons. Hello. Look at little Miss Tired, we love her. Okay. Um, yeah, now we are going to order food because food is great. All right, so I finished my freedom breakfast. It was a good breakfast. Um, it's the same one I've had this whole week. It's a good breakfast and it's cheap. It's the main thing, it's cheap. So, um, yeah, now we're just kind of chilling until we can find something better to do and then figure out what we're doing for the day and then go run to the bus stop before 10 p.m. Hey guys, look how pretty Edinburgh is. Honestly, I'm so sad I have to leave. I don't want to leave. Look how pretty it all is. Don't we have to go? I'm so sad I have to leave today. I don't want to. I want to stay. Look. Look at that tower. It's got a pole in front of it, but the tower is so cool. I want to stay. I want to stay at Spoon. Hello, we have just got out of Spoons, um, we're walking this way. I just fell off over to here. Yeah, I just fell off over to here. Listen to that beautiful bagpipe. <laughs> Celebrating my last day in Edinburgh. Celebrating finally getting rid of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to find something to do for the rest of the day. I was expecting me. Yeah, no, but it was me. I... All right, so we're just sitting on the grass because it's a pretty chill day. Very sunny. So we thought, hey, we'll just get burnt. <laughs> we're, we're English. We don't tan. We just burn. So we're just going to get burnt, you know. Fun times. And I'm wearing all black. Oh, yeah, Chelsea's wearing all black. Look at her. Okay, Super black. duper cute, though. <laughs> all right, so we have spent about an hour just sitting in the sun and just chatting about trauma and life and Look disney movies oh we found a daisy oh wait i can't show you that i'm on the wrong wrong facing camera oh well <laughs> but um yeah now we're gonna go scope out some food for you know today i mean we might yeah we're just basically gonna have a look so we're not just have a look yeah Hey, Ev. I feel like we're on Norwich Market on a Saturday. There's so many stuff. There's a dude making balloon animals behind me. There's people selling stuff. And there's a class act behind me that's got a whole crowd around him. He's pretty cool. How is your bed with my little kid that can me? He needs to take pictures. <laughs> Hey. All right, so we're on our way to Cosmo because we arranged that. Well, we kind of just agreed that we'll do Cosmo on the last day. Big lunch, so we don't yeah. need to eat as much. Exactly. So basically, we're getting a big old big boy meal. So yeah, you know, fun times. All right, so Google Maps sent us in a sprawling direction wanted us to cross a bridge that didn't exist <laughs> so we're going the way that we know and then gonna reroute so yeah fun times okay so we have found Cosmo I'm a bit sad that I'm gonna have to leave my violin around other human beings but hey it was my own choice and I'd rather keep it on me anyway so hey I made the right choice I really didn't but I feel like I did so yeah 
see you in the Cosmo food hall place. Food! Okay, so we are currently in Cosmo and look at the food behind us. It's an all out buffet. And um, yeah, no, we, we get food. Waiting on our drinks though, we got the classic. Uh, I got Capri Sun and you got, what's this? Coke? Yeah, I got Coke. Yeah, she got Coke. Yeah. Right, Chelsea time. Today I got bored. Also, her skirt got dirty, so that's why she's not wearing a skirt today at the moment. Look at that sunshine. I apologise to all your audience about my voice. It's terrible. I don't like it. Ooh, tree. I got bored, people. <laughs> all right, so um, we have had a nice little sit in the park for the fun time. Um, what time is it now? It's gone, uh, coming up to quarter to four. Okay, it's quarter four. That's okay, we've been in here quite a long, quite a long time, quite a while. They mix together somehow. Um, but yeah, no, now we're just walking to keep, you know, keep it up. All right, so we are currently just waiting um, just outside of the food court of the um, Waverly Mall. We feel like we just we're just waiting for time to pass because it's way too hot outside. All right, I just had a very embarrassing phone call with my dad, and now I'm crossing a street, hoping that I don't die. And um, yeah, going for a walk. Van behind me is really good though. All right, um, we're just walking. We went into H and B for a bit. Um, which if you're from America, because I know I've got a couple of Americans who watch me, um... Huh? Hang on, tell me in the comments, Americans, do you have HMV? Um, because I don't think you do, but Chelsea seems to think you might. I think Yeah. Yeah, but, um, went into HMV, which is basically a record and games and t-shirt, basically it's a fandom store, you know? It's a good fandom store too. So we went in there, had a quick look, and um, yeah, now we're just walking. We're just walking till we find something we like, because our trip, well, our coach ain't till 10.45. So yeah, we've got ages. <laughs> got five hours. We're going to Poundland, just for a laugh, because I've got a Poundland here. So why the hell not? Also, look at that castle behind me. That is a beautiful castle. I love that. Master. All right, so, um, got like four hours just over. So we're just taking a slow walk, you know? Oh, by the way, I got party rings from Poundland. Cause I can have those. They have no milk, no yeast. I'm fine. Woohoo! Fun time. Um, but yeah, no, so it's just a fun time and now we're just walking, seeing where we go, seeing what happens, you know, crazier things have happened, my dudes. Alright, alright, so we basically, hang on, why won't this focus? It won't focus on me, what? Alright, I've got this ethereal light and bad focus but um basically we really needed the toilet so we just came to the bus station four hours early like you do you know you know just like you do so we're gonna find something to do not sure what yet but something or other Okay, people, I am very stressed out right now. Look at, look at the acne. I'm so stressed because um, we were idiots. We forgot that the bus that we had booked for tomorrow was actually booked for today. Whoops. So, um, yeah, we are 
currently a little bit stressed looking for any bus from London to Norwich and um, yeah so basically we can get back to England but not to Norwich we might have to ask like at the time when we get home I'm a little bit stressed yeah Chelsea's also a little bit stressed we are, we are very very stressed see you in a bit all right so walking backwards so you can actually kind of somewhat see me um, basically we had a bit of a conundrum about the bus tickets but now we've sorted it and now we're getting breakfast for the morning so yeah after much waiting and anticipation the bus is finally here and it's called Ozzy and I'm tired and I've got to get my ticket checked now so bye okay so we're finally on the coach it is 10.44 I'm exhausted I want to go to sleep look at the acne oh acne is on fleek I hate it I can clean that up when I get home um, but yeah currently Chelsea is also dying so we're all dying we are currently in the same place at the same time you know just as it should be on the way home I always thought you were talking about death that as well <laughs> this all night people I'm gonna try and sleep but blue light makes it practically impossible because it's blue and that makes your eyes hurt it's where they do it on purpose at this point right so it's like seven o'clock in the morning and um yeah, we're just going through the London boroughs now and we're going to have to catch the tube again. Sad times. We're tired. Okay, so we are here. Um, got our bags, got ourselves, and now we're finding toilets and then... Thank you. Yeah. Alright, I have managed to get my layering system wrong. I got the bag on top when it should be on bottom, but oh well. I'll live. Alright, so we're currently at Victoria Station. Uh, trying to get to the underground part of the station. I just fell down some stairs. Because I'm stupid. And um, yeah, currently in London, getting very lost, feeling very weary. And not really knowing what I'm doing. We'll figure it out. All right, so we are currently on the underground. We always say we're never doing it again, and look where we are, we're doing it again. Uh, we don't really have a choice, because if we want to get home, we have to. I hate the underground. The next train will be... Okay, so we've gotten to the point where Chelsea is cursing the map. Um, I am also cursing the map. It's a very evil map. Um, and we're currently ignoring what the tube map says and going on the circle line and that will get us to where we need to be to then get onto the place where we need to get to go to the place we need to be and then, we can go home. then we can go home so yeah um also i'm holding that with my right hand which is annoying but yeah see you in a bit all right so we are currently waiting for the um train we're very stressed very we tired. went the wrong way very tired very tired can't forget about tired um, it sounds like there's another train coming, currently at Liverpool Street, um, hang on, I don't think you can see it too well, but Liverpool Street is scary, because it's like one way goes one way and the other way goes the other way, and I don't want to go the other way, I want to go the way I need, and that's scary, because I might mess that up, and I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> we made it, we're alive, no, we're just. Center. Chelsea's having trouble with her bag because... The bag is horrible. I am tired and this is annoying. Okay, so we found the bus station. Chelsea's phone is dead. Chelsea's phone is dead. Um, I'm helping charge it up at the minute. We're just kind of eating what we bought for food. And um, yeah, trying to see where life takes us. Hopefully back home. Okay, we are on the bus back. We have found the bus and we got the same bus driver. He remembered us. 
he was so sweet. We love him. Honestly, so sweet. Um, and yeah, now we're just going through London, back home to Norwich. And then, yeah, love life. Woohoo! Hey guys, look how pretty it is out there. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so we are back home in Norwich, finally. Um, Chelsea's still got to get to Yarmouth. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see what we can do about that because I'm gonna ask my dad and you know, it's very last minute so I don't expect him to say yes, but you know, we've got a contingency plan in case there is a no, which there most likely will be because it's so last minute, which is completely understandable when you think about it, but you know. Um, but yeah, no, so honestly, I can see it. I can see it, you know. Okay, guess what? We got a message from dad. Dad says that there may be room on the roof for an extra bus. <laughs> Basically, I think he's saying we might actually be able to bring Chelsea home. Woohoo! So, yeah, now just waiting on dad. He should be here soon. He's parked up. Um, just... We're back in Norwich. Woohoo! And um, currently in dad's car and taking Chelsea home. Yeah! So we had spare room on the roof. Clearly, this is the roof. Yeah, obviously. Chelsea is clearly on the roof. Yeah. Obviously. Right. Why would she ever not be? Mm. Um, so yeah, fun times. We're taking her home now, going all the way to Yarmouth. Get to go to the beach. Woohoo!